Hey guys, Micah here with Tactic California. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are doing a full review on the Alpha Concealment Centaur Kydex Holster. One of the number one questions I get asked all the time is what holster do you use and why? Now I've used several different holsters. In fact, I've done videos on you know product spotlights on certain holsters and I've done what holster is the best holster overall. I've really made an attempt to broaden my horizon and try a ton of holsters out there for you guys, spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars, at this point probably well over a thousand dollars in Kydex. So I have a pretty good understanding of what's available on the market, what works well, at least for me, people my size maybe. Uh, everyone is different of course, but the Alpha Concealment Centaur is the holster I've landed on for my personal use. It's also the holster I recommend for anybody who wants to try to carry appendix. Whether big or small, this holster is gonna be definitely favorable for a number of reasons. There are three main things we're gonna look at in this holster review. One, concealability. How easy is it to conceal the firearm? Two, comfort. I wanna make sure that it's not digging into me. I wanna make sure that it's a very comfortable holster. And three, safety. We need to make absolutely sure there's no way that trigger can be pulled uh, while it's in the holster. So we need good uh, coverage over the trigger. All right, number one, the reason this thing is so comfortable and why I choose to wear it so much is definitely because it has less material than any other Kydex holster that has a Mag Caddy design that I've personally seen on the market. Now I've done a lot of Mag Caddy holsters, T-Rex Arms, M3 Tactical Kydex, and the list goes on and on. So many companies make these holsters. But what makes these ones really unique is the how little material they use. So this guy right here is for the CZP01. Real quick, I gotta brag on Alpha Concealment's customer service. They did not offer this gun with the XC1 in their Centaur rig. They didn't have the CZP01. I emailed tons of different companies, reaching out to them, seeing if they would make a CZP01 with the XC1 Mag Caddy design. Now, none of these companies had this available on their website. When I reached out to Alpha Concealment, I was really surprised. Not only did they say, sure, but literally within hours of responding to my email, it was an option on their website, and then I could now get that for my gun. That is amazing customer service. Many other companies don't even respond to your custom requests, let alone put it available on the website for everyone to order. So really, really cool. I dig that. Now that we can get off that, let's get back to why this thing's so comfortable. Many of the competition's sidecar style or Mad Caddy style holsters have rivets on both sides. It's essentially a pancake style holster. You've got rivets and screws on this side, and you've got rivets and screws on this side. That, there's extra material here on normal holsters that are like that. And what they've done, which is truly genius, is instead of using two pieces of Kydex pancake style, they've used one piece of Kydex and folded it over. So it folds right at the magazine holder and it really, really gets the profile of this down considerably. This means that they've shortened the overall holster by at least an inch, if not two, based on which competition you're, you're going up against, just by getting rid of that. That was incredibly genius, and this can't be easy. Uh, this is definitely a true piece of art, being able to fold that and still get a nice fit uh, on the gun and on the magazine. Very difficult to do. You don't see reheating marks on these holsters at all. They do this really, really well. Another thing about comfort is how far down the holster goes. A lot of these Mag Caddy styles, for whatever reason, they really come out this way before they come up. And you can see that they they just initially, they start going up immediately. There's no reason to go straight there. And that corner is really what digs in, at least to me, uh, into my inner thigh, if I'm carrying right at 12 o'clock, really digs into me and I don't like that. So again, the fact that they got rid of that corner, super smart, definitely helps uh, just totally make this thing as comfortable as possible. Number two, concealability. Uh, this really boils down to how the gun sits on your belt, your body type, and of course it's gonna be different for everybody. However, for most people, what I found is that with the wing that comes with these holsters, it comes with the wing already on it, that helps cant the gun in a little more towards your body and helps the butt of the gun, which is the part that really prints the most, just go back into your torso a little bit more. It doesn't dig into you. It's actually following the curve of your body. So you, you really get a wonderful concealment with this rig. Another really cool part about this holster that helps and aids in concealability is that the clips are adjustable in height. So if you're someone who maybe needs to have that thing sit a little lower to conceal a little better or a little higher even to conceal a little better, you can definitely do that just by adjusting how high the clip sits. Really smart, really simple, and definitely an awesome product. And last on concealability, the magazine sits pretty close to the gun. 
a lot of companies have this magazine way out here. And I, I, that might be for like gross motor skills or something. You know, they're trying to get you, how you have a free hand down here to get to that spare mag. But if I'm going to the spare mag, the gun's out of the holster. Get it close up there. Really, really get it nice and tight. It means less footprint on the belt and it means more concealability for us as the end users. And our third and last point is safety. We need to make absolutely sure that this thing's gonna hold our gun safely, retain our gun safely, cover that trigger guard, and this thing does just that. I'm gonna set this one down. This one's here for my H&K VP9. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the gun out. And what you immediately will notice is that when I put the gun in, it there's a little bit of a push right there that kind of clicks in. Really, really nice. And as you can see right here, it's holding the gun fine. I can shake it. It's not coming out, no big deal. Uh, and so th that's definitely a plus there. Again, we've got adjustable retention. So if the gun didn't sit quite firmly as you would like it for that safety aspect, just go ahead and tighten these two screws. You're gonna, you're gonna get more retention on the gun. It's gonna be a little firmer, a little more positive of a click. I run mine a little loose. You, you'll notice that you actually don't hear a very firm click, but you do get a little bit of a, of a pop. Uh, that's because when I have this sitting in my belt, my belt is pushing up against the holster and it makes it a little firmer. So if I'm just applying a little bit of pressure on the outside, I really can't get that gun out. And that's what my belt is essentially doing. So again, adjustable retention, excellent. That way we can get the retention we need in the dynamic environments we may find ourselves in where we're moving, running, jumping. Maybe we find ourselves on our back or upside down because there was an explosion or someone pushed you. Whatever the case is, the gun has to stay in the holster until it's time to get it out. So really good that it has adjustable retention. And again, very very low profile for adjustable retention. Definitely well done. The trigger guard. The trigger guard is completely covered. There is no exposure of the trigger whatsoever. It's excellently done. Um, some holsters, I believe it or not, even Mad Caddy holsters, I do have one. I won't say their name, I'm trying to knock on them. But part of the trigger guard is actually exposed. Now, it's behind the trigger. What's the likelihood it's gonna pull the trigger? Probably none. But I don't like seeing trigger guard. I don't wanna see it. I wanna see complete coverage of the trigger guard so nothing can get in there and accidentally pull that trigger and cause a negligent discharge that's really unsafe. And the last point on safety that I think is overlooked by a lot of people who are shopping for Kydex holsters is the clips. I used to be a fan of the inch and a half clips, the big fat ones. That was until uh, I, I had an incident where I was carrying appendix with that and I had a carry cart, you know, like you get a target, like it was just like a, a little cart you carry around, it's not a push cart. And as I'm going to put that away, it kind of bumped the gun. And when that hand basket hit my gun, it actually popped the clip off the belt. Now the gun didn't come out of my pants, the holster didn't come out of my pants, thank goodness, would have had a very, very awkward, embarrassing moment in the store. But I like two clips now. Every holster I wear, I want two clips. I want redundancy there. And the more spread out they are, the more it's gonna distribute the weight on your belt line, so the less you're actually gonna feel the weight. So two clips, I gotta have it, and these definitely have those. Again, while maintaining a small profile. Uh, some people will put the second clip way out here where they put that magazine way out there, and now it's just this ridiculously huge thing. These are very close together, but not so close that it negates the fact that it's spreading out the weight. So definitely good there. And these simple clips that a lot of people like using have an excellent hook on the bottom. They're not very easy to pull off the belt. I mean, they're easy once you get the hang of it, but they're not easy to bump accidentally off. And if you do, you still have the secondary one. So for safety reasons, again, this holster, it just gets a total A+. All in all, guys, the Alpha Concealment Centaur Rig is my favorite IWB Appendix Carry Kydex holster. If you like this video, please click like down below and subscribe to this channel for more gear reviews. Also check us out on Patreon.com at patreon.com slash tacticalifornia, Facebook at tacticalifornia, and Instagram at tacticalifornia underscore. Also, we are a brand ambassador with Optics Planet, which means you guys can save 5% off your entire order just by using the code TCA5. So use that to get 5% off everything. I'm Micah with Tacti California. Thanks for watching.